All right, Big Daddy, it's January 1st. It is what? Holy crap, 11.45 p.m. Look what happened at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. 20 hundred hours. We had a huge hit on Bitcoin going up. Well, it actually started at 6. 6 o'clock, look at that. Something's going on, Big Daddies. Something is going on. I thought it was going to be a couple weeks until the ETFs got approved. But holy crap, it's moving. We went from what? 43... 1042 40 about 43,000 and we're down here obviously yeah the $43,000 range at 2 p.m. 3 4 5 p.m. Eastern 6 and then all the volume started to happen look at that big daddy's 8 o'clock a lot of big volume look at that with the volume goes to the candles call me Jimmy candles Bitcoin Ben Woo! fucking big come Ben man give me a break all right let's go we got um got the candles going up Got everything going up right here. Oh, some people took some profits right at 45. People probably triggered the 45,000. Boom, corrected back down. People took some sales, I think. Took some profits. Do not be afraid to take those profits. Kind of hovered a little bit about 44.8. Look at that, man. So we're about 11. It's hovering off about, uh, what is that? 10, 1030. 10 now we're hovering about 11 o'clock Eastern time. So it's going down a bit. So big jump up from 43,000 up to 45, 2,000. What is going on people? You just don't know with this crypto crap. You just don't know. So that's pretty good news. And I think, again, I had a little gut feeling today. I should have put in like 10,000 bucks into Bitcoin. I did convert some, um, swapped over some of that crappy raptorium turd uh I, came, I think it took a month to get it off the smart node i node z smart nodes it took a month an actual month to get my uh, raptorium out i got it it worked so that did work it took a month moved it over the coin center or whatever so i don't know some one of the very few exchanges that you can dump the turd raptorium and then i dumped it to bitcoin Paid the fees, transferred it back, my Bitcoin back to my wallet, paid the fees, but now I have Bitcoin. Thank God, and it went up. Boom, good move. Uh, I dumped my Litecoin earlier a couple weeks ago. Crappy Litecoin. I call them shit coins, guys. I've had it. I've been in this game for 2016. I can call it the way I see it. I've dealt with it. I've mined the stuff. I've owned it. I've seen it go up. I've seen it go down. I've seen it go sideways. I've seen it go backwards. And I don't care what I call it anymore. Bitcoin's king. Stick with Bitcoin. So what are we at now? 45253. So we got that one. Let's go look at the other stock page. Uh, let's see. It just happened today at 6 p.m., guys. So obviously the news guys are all off. They're not working. It's the mainstream media. You know, they don't work. They're just uh, giving their talking points tomorrow morning. So look at that. Oh, we actually got one. I, cor I stand corrected. I'm the first one to admit when I'm wrong. Reuters actually came out with an article an hour ago. Look at that. So the boys at Reuters are working. They are controlled. Uh, propaganda machine. So let's go look and see what they have to say. Bitcoin climbs above 45,000 for the first time since April 2022. Oh, they put it out. Okay. It just came out an hour ago. A Bitcoin. Oh, let's see. I don't care. That's a Bitcoin. Bitcoin rose above 45,000 on Tuesday. Tuesday. This is Tuesday morning. This must be a, these bastards must be in Europe or something like that. Uh, if they just push this out, because there's no way these people don't work after hours. So Bitcoin rose 45,000 on Tuesday for the first time since, yeah, it's still Monday here. It's 1149 Eastern time on Monday, January 1st. So Bitcoin rose 45,000 on Tuesday for the first time since April, 2022 as the world's biggest and best known crypto currency started 2024 with a bang buoyed by optimism around possible approval, approval of a ETF exchange traded spot Bitcoin funds. So that's mainly, uh, if you're not paying attention, it's the Black Art, BlackRock, Vanguard, and maybe Fidelity and a couple other ETFs. Bitcoin ETFs are out there waiting approval from their good old best friends at the SEC. It's all one big club, guys. It's all one big club, and we ain't in it. So they're going to approve their friends, Timmy uh, ETF, because their kids all go to the same private schools and they all vacation together in the Mediterranean on their same yachts. So it's all one big club. You know how it works. They work at the SEC for a few years. Then they rotate out and go work at Vanguard and BlackRock for a few years, rinse and repeat. And then maybe they go into the U.S. government for a little bit, into the uh, 
what are Fed Reserve or whatever, and then they go back to, to the SEC. It's just all the same clowns rotating through. I remember Kramer said dump Bitcoin months ago. Kramer's a fool from CNBC. So do the opposite of Kramer and you may be all right. All right, Bitcoin touched a 21 month peak of 45.48. Big deal, we get it. They're all waiting for the ETF. Uh, let's see, investors focus has been squarely on whether the U.S. securities regulator, regulator, their buddies, come on, it's what I was just saying, will soon approve a spot Bitcoin ETF, which would throw open the Bitcoin market to millions more investors. The U.S. security SEC has rejected multiple applications to launch spot Bitcoins because it wasn't their friends. Their friends were at BlackRock, they own the world, and they probably own the SEC. Uh, let's see. Let's see, in recent months, there has been uh, increasing signs that regulators are prepared to sign up on at least some of the 13 proposed spot Bitcoin ETFs with expectations that the decision will likely come in early January. It's on, baby. The game is on. Uh, let's see. There also another notable is the Bitcoin halving. And what is this? A monetary policy within the United States and worldwide. Whatever. Who cares? Nobody knows. Nobody can guess. It's just going up. There are, I don't know if there's whales controlling this, but exactly, it's funny when you look at the timing, guys. Always look at, look at that right at, look at that. Right at 1600 or 1800, which is um, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Right at 1800, look at that. That's when it started. It doesn't happen on one off minute or anything. It's right on the hour. It's either a scheduled action or someone, I mean, it's right on the thing. So you got to mean it's, it's, it's a computer generated activity. So I don't know if people are manipulating or what, but look at that. It goes up volume, 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 volume is increasing. Volume, volume, volume. Look at that then right here about, oh, this one's five minutes before. So about 1755, boom, big spike in volume. See that? And then it kind of tapers off. And then some people had some price sell orders right there uh, at 45,000. It triggered it and they, they got some profits. And then it kind of just, look at that. Volume is higher than it's been all day. And there we go, there we go, there we go. And now we're kind of hovering about 45 too. So I was like maybe 45,000, maybe the new, the new base for a while. We'll see. Pretty cool. Just want to put this video out there. Bitcoin to the moon, maybe. That'd be nice. I, I wish I would have put more in, but you just never know. You can always lose everything, right? Remember, it can go up. It can go down. It can go sideways. Or it can do nothing at all. Just stay tuned. It's pretty exciting. Uh, people say don't look at it every day, but you got to look at Bitcoin every day. It's so volatile. It's so uh, such speculative, such a speculative commodity. Uh, yeah, you got to keep up on it because little things like that, boom, will just shoot to the moon. Now, don't FOMO. Don't freak out and start buying in because you want to buy when it's dropping. You know, you want to stage in your buys because when you're buying on the way up, then guess what? It'll correct and come back down and you're left holding the bag and you're minus 20%. And you're going, oh, what did I do, Crypto Jim? Why did I do it? Ah. So just be cautious with the run-ups like this. It always pulls back. Crypto always pulls back. Look, it went up to 44 and then it came back to 41 and then back up to 43. Hovered at 43 now. Boom. 1800 as of today, it shot up to 45,000. Pretty cool, guys. Look at that. All right, just wanted to share this with you. Nothing else is going on. We're still mining on these rigs, not making much. Four bucks a day with the six rigs. Uh, my total value now, see how this went up? I mine 0 0.0066812 BTC with a total market value of uh, based on the Bitcoin price, $302. Before that was recently, not earlier today, was sitting at 270 bucks. But because Bitcoin went up, the price, boom, my value of my mind, CPU mine Bitcoin has gone up accordingly. I'm leaving it on a nice house for now. I just want to see how high it goes. But it's pretty cool. Pretty cool to watch. Good hobby. Good fun. Bitcoin's on the move. Love it. Love to see it. What do you guys think? Post below. What are you guys doing with Bitcoin? Are you mining? Are you buying? Are you holding? Are you selling? Just want to share the wealth and uh, educate people on this. I think the ETFs is going to be huge. There is also a huge thing in the stock market where options are expiring middle of January. I don't know if that's going to crash the market or who nobody knows. It just seems to be a red flag coming. So be cautious of that. Again, none of this is financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. If you're getting your financial advice off some clown on YouTube like me, you, you, you're full. Don't just do it for entertainment. Do your own research. Watch the videos. Everyone out there, watch all the videos you want, but doubt 
Doubt, but verify the data. Doubt, but verify. That's your safest policy. Yeah. All right. Go forth. Go forth and do great things. And uh, we're going to see what happens here. 45,000, man. If we get back to 60,000, that'd be awesome. I want to pay my house off. <laughs> we'll see. All right. I'm out.